like sex. I'm just going to live in your grace on this segment of A Scary to Remarry. What's up, Brave Arts community? This is Sean Heineman here with another segment of A Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. And this topic I found very interesting because really do I would uh, do a video on trending topics or things that's hot on the internet right now. But this one did catch my attention. And this was from the, the actri actress, uh, Essence Atkins. And you might know her from Are We There Yet? The TV show and Half and Half. Uh, and she's done some shows with Marlon Wayans and some movies as well. But if you saw her, you, you would know who I'm talking about. You probably know her by name anyway. But she was on a, a interview not too long, a couple of days ago, and she was talking about the experiences that she had with sex. And this is why I label today's segment, I like sex, I'm just going to live in your grace. Because she was saying that as a Christian, that, you know, she got saved or whatever. And then she was like, you know, I like sex, but God, I'm just going to have to live in your grace, you know. And during this time, I thought was very interesting was she later on went to say that after so long, she said she felt really awful about the last time that she had sex. Now, before I go any further, let me preface this by saying, if this doesn't apply to you, I'm not trying to uh, force anything down your throat. I understand this is cancel culture. If you're going to cancel me, that's cool. If you're going to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. If you want to stop listening to the podcast, stop listening to the podcast. But I think this is very relevant for someone who might want a life change and see something different because you might be running into the same issues over and over again. So I'm just giving a trigger warning. I'm letting everyone know before I continue. Okay, now. Now that we got that out the way, she talked about how she really felt awful the last time she had sex because I guess the last guy she had sex with, like he fit the perfect description or uh, it looked really good on her uh, resume, if you will. You know, she got this guy who got the money and the status and all these other things, but she felt really awful afterwards. And when I listened to it, I said, I have to do a video on this because there's a lot of people out there. And I'm going to talk to men and women as well. This isn't a one way street. So don't get upset because I know it's easy to say, well, Sean, what about men? And, and you know, and the guy saying, what about the women and all this other stuff? So I'm going to address both. And let me say first to the ladies, I will say that there are some women out here that they might be younger. And uh, they're just doing them. So if you're just living your best life and you're doing whatever you want to, and, you know, sexual liberation and you sleep what you want to sleep with, I'm cool with that. That's that's what you do. There's no judgment. But there is another set of women who are tired of sleeping around thinking that they're going to land uh, the husband of their dreams or the man that they desire through sex. And I know we talk about this all the time, but it's worth repeating. Look, a man can get sex from anywhere. He just want to know what's going to make you different than the rest. And I've said this before on previous videos, you can find sex in abundance, especially with the sexual liberation. liberation. Everybody's getting it in, right? If you're a man, this is the time for you to be winning. This is the time for you to cash in because everybody's getting it in. And back in the day when we were growing up, you had to have game. You know, you had to, to have your stuff together. You needed to have a, a car and your own place and a job. And you needed to at least take her on a date. Um, <laughs> you know, you had to treat her, you know, do some things. But nowadays, it's just a different landslide. You got women that slide in DMs and, you know, they, they connect them with guys as well. So I understand to the women, you might be younger, you're doing that. But uh, women who are a little more mature, and I believe this is where Essence Atkins is in her life, where, like she talked about in the video, she said that, uh, you know, this, this thing that happened after the sex, like he wasn't committed or he um, wasn't protecting her as far as like the commitment of being her man. Uh, or even possible marriage, like there was no kind of commitment to that. And that's why I believe she said she felt really awful. And there are women out here who really, really wants to marry, but at the same time, they might struggle with 
old ideas of thinking about sex that, you know, sex is going to get you the man that you desire. And actually, that's the opposite. Uh, men, we, we want a challenge. We want somebody who's going to make us work for it. And when men, when, when you make us wait, you know, when you make us desire you more and get to know you on a deeper level, it makes us want to step our game up, at least for men. Now, if you're dealing with a boy, if you're dealing with, uh, you know, immature men, that's on you. That's the decision that you chose. You know, I think I'm frustrated about this whole thing is because you get people on social media saying that they can't stand men. Uh, and men are not any good and men are trash and all these other things and, and these horrible stories. And if you've been through those things, I'm sorry. But at the same time, you allow these things to happen. Right. Because you didn't take the sound advice of somebody who was looking for your best interest or maybe a father or maybe another male friend who was trying to get you on the game. But you was going to do what you want to do anyway. And now you have all these bad experiences and now men aren't you know what. So uh, don't always blame men, you know, learn from your experiences and then mature and make better decisions and know that sex isn't going to answer everything. You know, some there's some women that have a conscience that after they do have sex, they, they feel bad about it. Um, I do believe that, you know, there's some kind of conviction there that afterwards you've had sex with a man and um, the, the, the feeling afterward isn't, isn't worth the experience. You know, I've heard numerous women say that they felt the sex was good, but afterwards they felt terrible and they didn't want to live with that feeling anymore. So they had to take a different direction when it came to, uh, to dealing with men. Now, ladies, I know I jumped all on y'all. I still love y'all. I've had bad experiences with women. That don't mean I hate women. Uh, just because you had a bad steak doesn't mean you stop eating steak. You just go to a different restaurant, right? So remember, all men aren't trash. All women aren't trash. It's just from your perspective and your experiences. Uh, choose better. Now, let me get on the guys. Let me say this, because as men, we got to step our game up. I know nowadays it's easy to hook up with women. I get it. But men, keep your pants up. You don't have to sleep with every woman just because she's willing to give it to you. And sometimes, you know, she might be, you, you, you run the chance of getting this woman pregnant and spending the next 18 to 20 years with this woman. Because a lot of times people always talk about, um, you know, I always wear a condom, always strap up. But the more you have sex with this person, more than likely the condom is going to come off. Chances are she might get pregnant. And all of a sudden you're talking bad about your baby mama because you realize that uh, she wasn't the person that was cut out for you, but just the sex was good. You realize that she has some other flaws that you just couldn't stand. But just because the sex was so good, you decided to have uh, a baby with her because you, you know, you want to fill it without the condom. So you can't, again, so for the men, you can't be mad at her because you allowed it. Don't spread your seed everywhere, man. I mean, you're going to spend 20 years in paying child support and, uh, and a headache. And if you move on and you with somebody else, or if you marry, you still have to deal with this quote unquote crazy baby mama who you slept with, right? So let's start making better decisions because at the end of the day, uh, your decisions always going to have consequences. So I need men to step their game up and be more mindful, not in a bitter sense to where I can't stand women anymore. And I'm just going to, uh, you know, stay away from women. No, that's no, that's going to uh, leave you um, underdeveloped as a man, because you should have interaction with women, but in a healthy way. Right. So just don't, don't, cast off women and then go and spread all this venom to other men about how trash women are because you had a bad experience. You chose her because she had a big booty. She had some big boobs and you thought that's all it took. And you realize you got hooked on her and now y'all have a child together or now she's quote unquote crazy and she won't leave you alone. So we need to step our game up as men. Don't, don't spread your seed everywhere, man. Let's be a little more mindful and it's okay to tell a woman, no, you don't have to have sex with a woman just because she's being aggressive with you. You can tell her no, and you can respect yourself as a man. I believe men 
should respect their bodies as well. And then that way, as a man, you make the woman step up. You know, it's like, yeah, you got to bring more to the table than just some 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 vagina right you got to bring more than that and that's going to start making women think twice before they start inboxing you about you know hey big head what you doing and, and like i say another video sending the uh the the water the squirting water emojis and, the, and you know the eggplant emojis and all this other stuff it's like a girl step your game up so anyway, I said all that to say is that I think we start need to respect in each other, man and woman, especially uh, when it comes to the area of sex. Again, you're going to do what you want to do. That's what you do. That's your business. There's no judgment here. But don't spew venom and try to mess everything up for everybody else because you have a platform on social media. It Look, it's easy to build a platform from bitterness. You can be a, a angry, upset man because of a bad experience with a woman and now you done changed the minds of hundreds or maybe even thousands of people because of your bad experience and you haven't processed your pain and hurt because she done you wrong and the woman that you chose. So leave a rating and review on Apple uh, Apple Podcasts, if you're listening to this, if you are watching this, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Leave a rating and review. Let me know. Talk to me. Did you watch the Essence Atkins um, uh, podcast interview or the video interview? Check it out. I would love to hear what you have to say about it, but leave a comment below and uh, I'll be talking to you there as well. Leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. If it's a one star, five star rating, let me know how I'm doing. I love the honest feedback. I know it was a lot. I know I said a whole bunch. I know I might've seemed a little triggered. It's just because I want us to all have healthy relationships, especially in the black community. This is Sean Heineman at It's Scary to Remarry, wanting you to love fearlessly. Take care of people.